If your collection of remote controls is growing quicker than a Pokemon collection, then maybe it's time to replace them with a single remote control. And the SwitchBot Universal Remote aims to do just that. Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Bite of Geek. So in this video I'm taking a look at the new SwitchBot Universal Remote. You know, if you've got a TV remote, set-top box remote, AV remote, DVD remote, then maybe it's time to go and replace that with a single Universal Remote. And uh, that's where SwitchBot have come in with their latest product. Um, full disclaimer, they've sent me this out for review and uh, they've not paid anything for this review so you will get my honest opinion on this this is the first time they're seeing the video just as you guys are as well um, but first of all let's have a look at what you actually get in the box so inside the apple-esque packaging you get the remote control itself you get an instruction leaflet a couple of little uh, cards with some uh, contact details on, a USB cable and a reset pin. And that is it. That's all you get. So in terms of the remote then, well, you've got this 2.4 inch LCD display, nice and clear. Uh, you can adjust the brightness on it um, you know, if you want to. Uh, you've got this jog wheel, as it were, in the middle. Uh, it's kind of like got two modes. So you've got the normal clicky mode and um, you've got kind of, uh, you know, a touch sensitive mode on it as well. Um, buttons nice and large on the remote. You know, if you're someone who has, uh, you know, these little itty diddy remote controls that got tiny little buttons on it this will be a bit of a godsend to have larger buttons there's no kind of like numeric keypad on that that's done via um you know other other means on the remote um it's got a rechargeable battery on it uh so supposedly will last uh up to five months um doesn't seem to be removable from what i can tell but uh you know doesn't take that long to charge up to a hundred percent so uh, you know does away with that need for that constant hunting for double a's or triple a batteries and um and yeah you know the design uh probably not to everyone's taste uh certainly if you're coming from like a, an apple tv uh, remote or something like that um i would say it's modern uh, a little bit chunky um you know it's white and black could we not have an all black one, something like that? Kind of mixes in with, with everything else. But yeah, that's what SwitchBot have gone for. So in terms of the setup, well, you're going to need a SwitchBot account and the SwitchBot app installed on your uh, mobile device, your phone, whatever. Um, you know, if you're already an owner of various SwitchBot devices, this is a really simple process to get going. Uh, you literally just add a device and follow the on-screen instructions. Uh, you know, hold a couple of buttons down and it goes through the pairing mode really, really quick and simple. And um, once that's done, you know, the remote is then added into your SwitchBot ecosystem. Now, when it comes to adding devices to your remote, uh, well, you've got a couple of options here and they both work uh, in different ways. So, um, you know, adding in SwitchBot devices is by far, I would say, the easiest thing to do. Um, you know, you've already got them, uh, you know, installed in your, um, you know, whether it's connected to your hubs or whatever. And, um, you know, you just choose to um, add on some existing, uh, they call, call them appliances, um, but they just go through really quickly. You know, I've just added here the SwitchBot RoboVac and it just shows up on the remote uh, after a quick sync and, and that's it, you know, pretty straightforward. Now, just worth mentioning that uh, there is a limit of 15 SwitchBot devices per remote. Uh, so if you've got a lot of SwitchBot devices in your house that you want to use via a um, universal remote, then you're gonna need to get a second remote in order to get them all on board. Now, the second way of adding devices is to add IR devices. So kind of like the most common thing for remote controls uh, nowadays. And, um, you know, you've, you've got to pair these to the, uh, the universal remote itself. You're going to need a SwitchBot hub for this. I'll come to something about that in just a second. Um, but basically, you know, I tried a Samsung TV, a Sony DVD player, a uh, Samsung soundbar and also a Sky Stream remote control. 
and um, you know that that's just kind of like a streaming device a little bit uh, like a, a, a Roku device or something like that um, and they all purred fine um, you know when you are purring these you know it has to learn what uh, your existing remote does and um, you know like the remotes of uh, these universal remotes of, of years ago uh, you know they they kind of like have this list of built-in uh, kind of like codes for devices and um, you know it will try and match up uh, a, a set of uh, appropriate templates for your remote control now if it doesn't work off one of those then you can um, you know actually go and pair it manually uh, you know it just means you've just got to do all the individual buttons themselves um, based upon what your actual needs are but it does actually work um, in my trying it out um, you know it worked with the TV uh, it uh, you know it didn't work with the uh, Sony DVD player that is a number of years old that so um, yeah you know quite surprised that one probably uh, didn't get picked up it didn't pick up the Sky Stream remote control um, and uh, the Samsung soundbar I was quite surprised it didn't pick that one up either however as I say you know you can manually go and pair them all Switchbot say they've got a um, hundred thousand. Uh, remote controls um, that are in their ecosystem for this universal remote and they update that every six months so uh, you know just because you don't necessarily get to um, you know set it up now uh, auto automatically you could ultimately end up being able to do that in the future now um, two things here in this entire process as I mentioned, you've got to have that hub in order to go and, um, you know, basically connect up your IR devices. Uh, this is a bit of a pain, this, uh, because, you know, if the device you actually want to, um, you know, go and uh, sync to your new uh, universe remote isn't in the same room as where your hub is, you're going to have to move one to the other uh, to be able to achieve this. And obviously, uh, that's more likely going to be the hub that you're going to have to move. Uh, it is a one-time process, you know, once you've done it, then it's fine. Um, but, you know, my question is, uh, you know, why that is specifically needed, given, you know, kind of like these, you know, um, universal one-for-all remote controls are able to do that without a hub. Um, but, you know, maybe that's for a version two of the remote control. Now, in addition to this, the um, the the Sky Remote is uh, it, it transmits um, either via Bluetooth or via IR, and you can go and um, switch the remote from Bluetooth to IR, and that's how I managed to get that to uh, to link up to the Universal Remote. In doing so, what you uh, lose is you lose the ability to use your voice with the remote control. Um, which is what you can do on the standard Sky Remote. The SwitchBot Universal Remote doesn't have that ability built in, so you obviously you lose that. Uh, if you have an Apple TV, um, the same would apply to you there as well. So if that is functionality that you use on a day-to-day -day basis, um, I don't. Uh, so you know, no great great deal for me. But if that's something you use on a day-to-day -day basis, then uh, it's something to be aware of. And just like the SwitchBot devices. Uh, there is a limit on the number of IR devices that you can have uh, connected, and that is 10 in total per remote. So it's not just your devices that you can control with the universal remote. You can actually go and control scenes as well. So, uh, you know, you can have 10 scenes program to the universal remote um, so I'm setting up one here I'm going to turn on my tv I'm going to turn on my dvd player and I'm also going to turn on um, what I've got um, hooked up is a uh, led light strip uh, from Sonoff um, and um, that is going to turn on as well underneath the uh, tv bench and all you do you just select the scene just like you would any other um, you, you know, kind of gadgets and press the on button and everything turns on. Now the SwitchBot Universal Remote is the first remote to uh, support Matter and uh, it again it's pretty simple to get it all uh, hooked up to your uh, Matter enabled uh, SwitchBot hub so you, know, you just go and add it, uh, you click on your hub in, in the application and you go and add it as a secondary device and then it will show up with your other matter devices 
uh, and then you can control uh, other matter devices from other manufacturers things like Philips and IKEA and stuff like that so um, you know not just uh, you, you know switch bot based products you know you've got a, a much wider uh, range of devices that you can actually go and control now I tried getting this hooked up with matter in home assistant and uh, it does kind of go through I had to restart home assistant to uh, get it all working um, but it's pretty limited with what you can actually do at the moment. Um, you know, the remote control has four buttons underneath the display that you can, um, you know, have it do various things. And, uh, you know, there isn't a great deal I can do with that in Home Assistant. Uh, hopefully, you know, this, this is either going to be a Home Assistant thing or it's going to be a, a SwitchBot thing. Um, but I've seen this before on devices, you know, they come out and then there is a bit of a catch up. Uh, later on down the line when things get updated and then functionality becomes available I could see you know uh, being able to have a whole host of automations and functionality off the back of those buttons on the remote um, you know if that was available in home assistant so uh, yeah fingers crossed that all gets enabled in future updates so what are my thoughts about the SwitchBot Universal Remote? Well, I think what SwitchBot are trying to do here, um, you know, to kind of like take that thought that the remote control is just for your TV or your AV equipment and really build upon that, that it actually could be, you know, something to use to control your smart home. I think it's quite a clever way of looking at things. Um, you know, in terms of replacing my standard remotes, you know, the TV, the DVD, the soundbar, the uh, streaming TV uh, remote. Well, it you know it did an excellent job at that. Uh, they all worked. It could have done a better job at kind of detecting the uh, the models on some of those so that it used the kind of like the standard templates. But they all worked eventually, and I was particularly impressed that it was able to um, you know detect and work with the Sky Stream remote control. However, being able to work with other smart devices within your smart home. Uh, you know, does make this a very different proposal. And, you know, it, it's one of those things, you know, you, you probably control your smart home at the moment via your mobile phone or, you know, you've got a tablet, stuff like that. So having a remote control um, kind of, you know, you, you probably think, well, why would I use a remote control to go and do that kind of stuff? But actually, you know, when you think about it, you know, when you think, you know, if you've got motorized blinds or something like that or curtains, you know, you just use a remote for it. Um, you know, this is no different uh, to controlling kind of like your TV and stuff like that. Having them all controllable via the, the remote is, is quite clever. I think the, the only downside on this is, is obviously the limitations uh, of the number of devices per remote control. And, you know, if you've got you know, maybe quite a large house and you've got a lot of devices, uh, you know, fans, uh, aircon, humidifier, all that kind of stuff, uh, multiple TVs, all those kinds of things. You're going to need multiple remote controls inevitably because you won't be able to get all of those devices onto one uh, single remote. It's not perfect though, and if SwitchBot do a version 2 of the remote, uh, there's a couple of things I'd like to see uh, improved here. Um, take the easy one first. Can we have a black version of the remote? Um, you know, white stands out a little bit. Um, you know, all my other remotes are black and, you know, so is the equipment that they go with. So, uh, you know, let's have a black version of the remote. And I think the other thing as well uh, is, is just to look at this, um, the way you pair up the IR devices. You know, I think... Uh, being able to do it via the remote has got to be, uh, you know, one of the things that has to be uh, kind of like achieved with a version two, I think, you know, having to take the hub around with you or the devices, um, you know, is, is a little bit um, annoying, I would say. But obviously, you know, once you've got it all set up, then that's fine. So in terms of price then, well, it's £59.99. There'll be a link down below in the description. It is an affiliate link, but it costs you nothing more uh, to to you know to use that um, you know but obviously you support the channel by using that uh, and if I can get it in time I will also put down below a discount code from Switchbot uh, it's normally kind of like 10 or 20 percent something like that um, so I will put that down below in the description um, but I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts uh, on this remote um, you know I know I saw uh, some of the reviews. 
when this got launched a few months ago and they were kind of mixed you know there wasn't a huge amount of enthusiasm about it because of some of the issues that people were experiencing um, clearly switchbot have done an awful lot of work on the software both on the app and on the firmware on the remote um, in order to improve things because it does seem to be an awful lot better than what people experienced at that point in time um, but you know are you considering this again let me know down below in the comments if you've enjoyed the video then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel but as always thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video bye for now